Hey everyone, I'm out here today at the house and I'm about to show y'all how to make a professional relic sifter or you could call it the PRS. Let's go check it out. Here is what a normal sifter looks like. Basic. Just took some boards, I stapled them together on all the corners and I took me a quarter of an inch wire screen, got it from Lowe's and I attached it on there. What I did was just took some boards, cut them, put them over top of the screen and stapled them all the way down. I don't know if you can see that but I stapled them all the way across the boards. And so if the screen ever gets holes in it and breaks you just take these boards off real quick, put you another screen on and uh, put them back on. Very simple but this is a basic sifting screen. Now here's what my professional one looks like. The dog over there chewing on the bottle. But here's my professional relic screen. Or sifter as you could call it. I haven't, I'm not sure about the name yet but I might call it the, the PRS. Professional Relic Sifter. So check it out. Now my grandfather made this for me. And all I did was I found a picture online of what I wanted it to look like and I just I showed him the picture and he made it on his own dimensions and changed a couple things around but it's very simple to make first of all you need to choose some light wood something lightweight this is pine I'm pretty sure it's pine and then you need to get you some mesh wire a quarter of an inch that's what this is now I've had this screen here over a year it's been through a lot it's probably held 40 50 pounds of dirt in it at one time if not more including big rocks and stuff now my grandfather he just put this together it took him about a, two days or so and first of all you need to get you you need to figure out how wide you want your screen how how big now let me go get the tape measure and I'll show you all the measurements of this screen in here. all right here's the sifting screen and I'm about to show you all the measurements, what you will need and what size boards and stuff to make it. Now you can change it yourself if you would like, but this is just how I made my first prototype. I'll probably make another one a little bit taller. But the inside of the, the sifting screen is 24 and a half inches. The width of that is 22 and a half, one half inches long. So that's the size I made the sifting screen. Now this is a, actually the perfect size. I can put probably 40, 50 pounds of dirt in here mixed with rocks and gravel and Chris will sift it out and it, this is some heavy duty uh, wire too. Like I said, I, I got it from Lowe's. It's quarter of an inch. The same as that basic screen I just showed y'all. But it makes a great size sifter. Now for the length of the handles and stuff, my grandfather, um, first of all, he took a, a jigsaw and he just curved them the way he, a hand would be and then he just sanded them off with a jigsaw and sander. And he did the same thing up here for the main leg support. He just curved it round and then sanded it off to make it nice and smooth. Now let's do measurements so y'all can get a general idea. This board right here is 37 inches long. That's just about right too. I like that height. And the same, this is 37 as well. This right here is the height of the screen. So if you're a tall person like 6'5", you're going to want this to be very tall. And right now it's currently, I think, about 32 inches. Let's see. Watch out, Lucy. Let's see how long it is. It's... 33 inches tall. I don't know if you can see me in the camera, but it's 33 inches tall, and I'm five foot ten. That's almost right, but it, I think it needs to be at about 35 or 37, just a couple inches taller, so you don't have to break your back as much. <laughs> but overall, this thing works great. I'll do a measurement back here so y'all can see as well. The boards back here. 24 inches long and let me just give y'all a view because y'all can't see from right there 
All right. These here, board here is 33 inches long. And then you have to put bolts in there so this will swivel. On both sides, you need to put bolts in there like I did, and washers. And what this helps it do is, when you're sifting, you lift this up and you shake it back and forth, back and forth. And uh, all the dirt sifts out. It's very, very simple thing to make. Just have to have a general picture or idea of what you're doing. Now, my grandfather, he makes heavy duty stuff. He don't play games. You can see he put three wood screws in there on the boards to keep them together. This is pine. I'm pretty sure the wood's pine. Very lightweight. It only weighs probably seven pounds, if that. Um, there's the back, more screws. And like I said, what we do to put the the wire screen on, you need to measure it out and get you a piece of, of this wire screen at Lowe's. And just take you some little small boards like this, some scrap wood, and cut them to size and put the screen over the, the boards and staple these in. All these are stapled in. I don't know if you can see, but they're stapled in. So, if this screen wire ever gets a bunch of holes in it from sifting, like mine did, I, it still has a bunch of holes in it, all you have to do is just get you another screen from Lowe's or patch up the wires and patch up the holes where the wires are. See, there's a hole right there. But overall, this thing has probably had who knows how many thousands of pounds of dirt in here. In my schoolhouse video, I've used this sifter. Also in the video where me and Chris crawled under the porch and inside the, the guy's crawl space and dug it up, this is what we used to sift out every single bit of dirt in that area. Here's how the, the bottom was made. My grandfather just uh, rounded it off, cut it like that so it would stay on the ground. And he just took some boards and nailed them together to give it some support here in between the two two legs of the sifter. Like I said, it's not very hard to make. This video should help y'all get an idea of what they look like. Cause I want other people to be making these as well because y'all ask me all the time where to buy it at. Thing is, I didn't buy it. And I think people might actually make them, but they're like 70 bucks. It don't even cost that to make it. So I hope this really helps y'all out. As you can see, put heavy duty screws in there. You don't want this thing to break. It's a very great tool. I love it. When me and Chris dig around old house foundations, if we find like an old plantation house we're digging, we'll dig up all the dirt around the foundation and sift it out. And you will find marbles, clay buttons, flat buttons, all kinds of cool stuff. You just never know what's in the ground. Plus you could put you a strap on it. And I haven't did that yet. Just hook you some little clips right here and put you a strap on this thing and just carry it. I mean, it's not heavy. This thing's lightweight. That's about eight pounds. I don't know how much it weighs really, but that's, it's not, not heavy. So I hope this helps y'all out a lot. It's a really great sifter. Professional relic sifter. Archaeologists use these. So, anyway, if you have any more questions, please ask. I'll be glad to answer them. And let me just give you another close-up of how this is made. It's been through a lot, that's for sure. Get y'all close up of the handles. How I did the, the handles, what my grandfather did. It's better than holding a, just a square board, at least saw them out to the shape of your hand. If it's very nice on there, don't hurt. You can even put you some rubber grips or something on there if you wanted to. But it's a great, great tool, and it's mainly for two people. But if you're alone and you're at a spot, all you got to do is just put it down like this, get you some dirt, and shovel it in there, and then lift it up and shake it back and forth and sift all the dirt out. 
I actually have videos of me and Chris using this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps y'all out a lot. And good luck and happy hunting.